The Academy of Orthopedic Surgeons say that between 60 and 80% of people will experience lower back pain at some point in their lives. Hi, my name is Lindsay Pace. Now, you might be wondering, what do I know about back pain? And truth be told, I didn't know that much. Believe it or not, I suffer from a herniated disc at L5-S1, which is basically part of the spine in your back. I the root cause of that cause was from a bruised sacrum, which I had for two years. Now, I never really knew how to handle this kind of an issue, mostly because I never expected it to happen to me. But you may not realize it, but some of your regular everyday activities can potentially cause you to have lower back pain in the future. I will be telling you what a herniated disc is, what are some of the causes of a herniated disc, some of the symptoms, and how to treat one. So how can we educate ourselves? So if you don't know what your sacrum is, it's basically a large triangular bone at the base of your spine. It holds up your upper body. So it's a very integral part of your human body, of your spine, so you can imagine how painful it is when that does not work properly. So now, what's a disc? A disc is a sponge-like substance that's in between parts of your spine. So. What's a herniated disc? A herniated disc is when that sponge pushes and or breaks through the outer layer and starts to hit on nerves in your body which sends spasms up and down your leg. Now that you know what a herniated disc is, now we wanna know what some of the causes are. So a herniated disc is more common with people who are about 40 and over, but small activities that people like us can do every day can affect our lower back, and it's difficult to pinpoint the root cause of this kind of issue. Things like improper lifting, spine strenuous activities, believe it or not, too much driving and staying sedentary can cause a herniated disc. After the cause comes the injury and some of the symptoms. So what are some of the symptoms? Some of the symptoms of having a herniated disc are numbness, weakness, pain in the leg, back, and or foot. And having a herniation makes you constantly feel weak. You're always tired. You can never do anything. All you want to do is kind of lay in bed all day, do nothing, and your mind feels like, oh yes, I want to do this, but your body says you can't. It's basically like you're disabled. So. Now that we know some of the symptoms of a herniated disc, how can we treat it? Usually when a herniation isn't too bad, you would get over-the-counter medication. You could also be treated by nerve pain, mus muscle relaxers, or even a cortisone injections, and sometimes even narcotics if the pain gets too bad and nothing else is helping. Physical therapy is another more efficient way to heal this injury. Also, electrostimulation can help as well. Example, have you ever seen the Icy Hot commercials on television? You know, they kind of have that thing that sticks to your back and it's gel and it causes a little bit of electro little pumps into your back and it feels actually really good because it's like you're going to the physical therapist but you're only getting a little bit of a juice to get you uh, through the day because not everyone can go to physical therapy every day. Heat and ice can also help as well. It's a less expensive method, but it can also work. So only in drastic circumstances, as if you can't walk, you can barely stand, and you're having extreme weakness that you can barely even hold something is when you would need to get surgery for this kind of issue. So I would just like to show you what your spine looks like when it's normal. And that's what it looks like. This is your spine. And then here are your discs. See, they're kind of spongy. And then when you have a herniation, it bulges out. And you see how it hits the nerve right there and it's red and it's irritating? It does not look fun and it does not look happy or okay. It is very painful. So in conclusion, we learned about her what a herniated disc is, some of its causes, some of its symptoms, and how to treat it. 
So thank you, my name is Lindsay Pace, and I hope you got a little bit of information on how to cure a herniated disc out of this. Thank you.